2019-2020 season starts with a W for URI. The Rams take down LIU tonight inside the Ryan Center, 76-65. An exciting game, and we welcome you back to the Ryan Center. Stone Freeman and Tyler Davey on the call of tonight's game in Rhode Island. Well, they get the win by 11 points, but LIU stuck around. Yeah, they did, and it was out their top scorer, Raekwon Clark, who was a big guy and just has to sit out this one game, is going to play a big role in the NEC. This is a team that's favored to win the NEC, who returned some starters. They kept it close, and they lived and die by the three ball. URI failed to break away as of late, but the scoring balance was there for URI. A lot of positive signs going forward. Yeah, let's take a look at some of the highlights from tonight's game, and it starts with a steal and score from Fats Russell. He was great tonight in terms of ball handling. Him and Jeff Downton combining for no turnovers. He took it himself and then set up this play to Tyrese Martin, and Martin getting involved. All of Rhode Island starters and double figures with exception of Jermaine, uh, Jermaine Harris, but Martin and Fats getting involved early. But here's the three ball tile you were talking about. Yeah, and they kept it close. Just when you thought URI was ready to pull things away, they went on some scoring runs as high as 17 in the lead, but LIU kept it close. The great equalizer, the freshman right there, Jacob Toppin, put on a show tonight with his athleticism. Yeah, and this is Surreal Landrevine who had a double-double to start the season, had 17 of those last year. And the Rams, they got the three ball flowing. Tyrese Martin found it. He had uh, the team high for URI, but again, this is the three ball that just wouldn't go away. Bats hits another one here for LIU, and that's what helped him stick around. But URI, a team going three for three, with an opponent is a great sign. Making some threes early in this game, and really they had to find their way. Nine of 26 from behind the arc, the better mark which they had last year, and they made some big ones late. Yeah, and LIU only went with six men, and their sixth man was Ashton Bradley, who erupted a career high in points tonight with 21. But again, Rhode Island was just too big inside. They controlled in terms of rebounding points inside. They extended it a bit, though. There's another Tyrese Martin three, so the three ball started to fall for the Rams late on, but again, here's the defense that comes through. One of three blocks for the Rams, that's Langevin. This is a URI team that's built in defensively. Cyril Langevin had his way underneath on both sides of the ball, going up against Usman Deem, who fouled out of this game. That was Bradley, another three for him, but here's Rhode Island. Fats Russell again with the athletic move. The up and under, he just makes it look effortlessly. Up against a seven-footer who has 14 inches on him. Uh, here's another putback for Obi Topin's brother, Jacob. He looks so much like his brother out of Dayton, but the two of them are going to be exciting to watch this year. Here's a defensive play for him, and he started off his season here at URI with a bang and continues to impress a lot of people around here. And here's another putback over a seven-footer against LIU. In a multitude of ways, and the thing about him is where he came out of nowhere in some of these is there's Ty Flowers, need to play a big role today with Clark out. He had a good game, but just not enough in the end. And the Rams again, here's Fats Russell, baseline jump shot, and he was good to start the year, 18 points. Uh, he had 13, Martin had 13 rather, Langevin had 16, Doughton had 13. Bucket started to fall again for LIU. They were within striking distance within the final two minutes, but Dana Tate comes through with a big three at five points off the bench for URI. URI did a good job late in the game, keeping LIU at arm's length, making some big shots. They had their leaders come through. Here's Jeff Doughton, who got it going right before the under four. That was a timeout taken by David Cox to talk things over, but here was a downhill drive from Cotton that was blocked away by Martin. A foul was called on that, but it did look clean. Cotton again, though, the kick, and here's another one of Bradley's threes. He was so good tonight. A senior, he's played a lot of minutes. And the Rams, though, in transition, and Langevin stuffed it home with two hands. He was impressive tonight with the double-double. And a career night for Bradley, the sixth man off the bench. He impressed. Fats Russell right here, they were up by just nine, but he makes it 12, and that's kind of where things get out of hand. The Rams end up walking away tonight with the victory. They get win number one of the season, and again, their schedule doesn't get much easier, but here's a final look at some of the final stats. The Rams leading in most offensive categories. They assisted 18 times and only turned the ball over 10 times. Well, Tyler, we had fun tonight in a pretty good overall game, and the Rams get the victory. 1-0, no better way to start a season, and good to see some other guys get involved. The freshman Jacob Toppin got a, a tough matchup looms on Saturday. Yep, so we had fun tonight. Why don't we do it again, right? November 19th versus Nickel State right here at the Ryan Center. We'll be on the call of that one. But for now, folks, the Rams victorious tonight, 76-65. For everybody here at Yearview, Tyler Davies, Stone Freeman, signing out from the Ryan Center.